It is Saturday morning and I am headed out for a long ride. It's actually the first ride I've done outside in quite a while. Just uh, everything going on. Most of my rides have been on the trainer, so I'm excited. The weather's great, a little overcast right now, but that's typical for Southern California where you call it June gloom and it's kind of overcast till about noon, which is actually perfect for training. The sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss cause I'll go with you. I'm done with the ride that was two and a half hours to the beach and back about 44 miles, I believe. The first 30 minutes, nice and easy, just high cadence, then spent 40 minutes, three minutes on hard, anywhere between 225 and 250 kind of wattage, then one minute easy, did that for 10 rounds, then basically just took it easy all the way back, kind of just spinning, staying in arrow as much as I could. Now I have a four mile run building to IM pace. Well, that is it. Run four miles, three miles. I was ramping to IM pace. Started around eights and worked my way up to sevens for the last mile and a half. Then just turned it down and ran back around eights for that fourth mile. Felt, felt pretty good. Uh, I don't think I could maintain sevens right now for 13 miles. Now I'm just walking around in this park, taking a few minutes to kind of just get grounded, you know, enjoying the green grass and the sun and all of these trees, just relaxing for a few minutes before heading home. Well, it is Sunday morning, it is 5.30. I'm putting the final touches on the video that hopefully you've already seen because it's been uploaded. And uh, I am headed down to, oh, I just noticed, it's a new shine shirt. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who has been ordering. Greatly appreciated. Time to donate $550 just in endurance and YouTube funds for May. But I think I've got everything. Wetsuit, goggles, cap, nutrition, shoes, camera. I think we got it all. There is a lot of climbing around me here in Carlsbad and I was gonna go east and then end up along the coast and then cruise back home. So the rest of the ride was just gonna be easy too. Swimming. You're riding my training plan. I feel like I've been here before. And every time that you walk through the door, I'm hit by the same old side. done with the swim that was just about 22 2300 yards felt really good actually swimming in the wetsuit 
the lagoon is so warm. Now we're headed up, change, go for a run. Hey, <laughs> Clark. Okay. We got a bunch of 800s, 640 pace. Let's see if we can keep up with this man right here. I think I got a few in me. I am headed back home. I am spent. First, we swam about 2,200 yards. Felt really good being back in the wetsuit. I love the Synergy wetsuit that I wear. So comfortable, feels so fast in water. Then transitioned out of there, changed into some run clothes, hit the trail, the rail trail, which is a uh, paved path that kind of runs through the uh, downtown Carlsbad area, and ended up doing 10 miles total. Did a bunch of 800s, uh, paced around 640. I got a ways to go on uh, getting completely comfortable at that pace again. That was a, that was a little bit of a stretch pace. Well, I am home from Carlsbad and I am tired to say the least. Came home, just hung out with the kids. I'm about to hit the hot tub to soak these tired muscles. Those were some really good workouts, but uh, it was so good to see Jess and BJ from Yogi Triathlete. They're just doing amazing things with Team Yogi Triathlete, their podcast, the Yogi Triathlete podcast, as well as Jess has the Awake Athlete podcast, which you heard a small portion of that in the video today. And I didn't get a chance to announce it. I was hoping BJ and I would get a few minutes, but we were just busy. BJ is coming on as my triathlon coach and he's gonna train me for leading up to Oregon. We only have about six weeks left, six and a half weeks. Then Arizona and finally La Quinta. I am super excited to work with BJ. He is so knowledgeable, a great athlete himself. And I continue to work with Jess with her mindset and meditation training. They're just an amazing couple. So I highly recommend you could check them out in the link below. It was also really cool to see Daniel, the vegan powered athlete. Again, link below. He is training for Coeur d'Alene. He actually is doing Oregon with me and he's also doing La Quinta. So it'll be really cool to be racing with him. But now we are gonna finish this video with a donation. I mentioned it a couple of days ago on my social media. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out on Instagram, CJ Media, as well as Enduris, where I put up a poll and I put up two different nonprofits that are preserving and protecting our planet. The first was Oceana, and the second was the Rainforest Trust. And I had everybody vote on it. And the winner, it was so close, I, basically. For this month, I'm gonna do one, and then for next month, the month of June, I'm gonna do the other. We're going to be donating $550 to Oceana. And for those of you who are new and don't know, Endurus is my charity effort. Everything I make from YouTube, Patreon, as well as all of the profits from the Endurus products that you can buy, all of that is donated every month to a different charity. Before we get to that, I'll close it with one thought that I had, which it's so applied to today. It's funny, as I was driving down to Carlsbad, I'm listening to Jess on the Awake Athlete podcast, and she's talking about, on this episode, it was called We Are So Self-Absorbed, I believe. And it was all about the ego and how, you know, you walk into something, maybe it's a yoga class or at a race, and your ego is what's telling you everybody's looking at you or you think they're talking about you and then that's that's all your ego the thing she was talking about was strava and i find it too where uh, you you do a workout and maybe you were slow or the prescribed workout was a heart rate workout so you didn't run as fast and you you get this yeah i can't put this up on strava you know they're gonna think i'm slow or they're gonna think something else and and that is all the ego and again it applied today going down to carlsbad getting in the water uh what if i can't keep up swimming what if my run isn't fast enough all of those that's all the ego so that's all i'm gonna say but that that 
episode was perfect for me driving down there. So I highly recommend you guys check out the Awake Athlete Podcast. I will link it down below. But now, let's donate. Oceanic campaigns to end plastic pollution in our oceans at the source, from the United States to Chile to the European Union. The equivalent of a garbage truck worth of plastic is dumped in the ocean every minute. 17.6 billion pounds every year. Well, the donation is done. Thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed to the videos, have been giving thumbs up, leaving comments. All of that helps me monetize these videos, which 100% of that goes to charity, as well as all of the products, whether it's the shirts, the hats, the mugs, all of that goes to charity. So thanks again. Now, I'm gonna hit the hot tub. <laughs>